So, in this video, we'll take a basic look at the interface of Virtual DJ. I'll start at the top and will work my way down. Here we have the volume of your headphones, this is quite logic. Right here we have Q-Mix, what this is, is in this position, you will hear on your headphones whatever you selected with the PFL buttons here. If you put it in the mix mode, you will hear a mix of both channels, 1 and 2. In the middle, it will be uh, more emphasis on your selected one. Um, this, uh, these are BPM buttons. They're like tap buttons, so if the BPM calculated by the software isn't correct, you can tap the BPM yourself by clicking on this button in time on the beat. Or you can use a shortcut and keyboard for it. So the software will calculate the new BPM based on that. Right here we have the master volume, this is your main volume of the speakers. Right here we have a clock, which is, if you click on it, a stopwatch. Right here. I don't know why you would use it, but it's there. And here you have your config button, which will take you to the settings. A little lower we have the waveforms. Um, the, these display the track in a visual way. Um, to the left we have a zoom. So you can see it over there, it changes. You also have to your right some presets for the zoom. I recommend you use number two at all times. Um, right here we have the main DJ desk. Um, it consists of two decks and the mixer in the middle. I will make a separate video to show all the features and the functions of this one. Here we have a multifunctional area. Yeah, so the browser, sampler, effects and record are all displayed in this area. Um, for the browser, we have first a browse area for your computer, where your music is. Here you will display the files. And here is a playlist. This is mainly used for auto mix mode. But I also use it to make my own playlist of songs I want to play later. And Virtual DJ recommends you use the side list for this. But there's a problem with that, it limits your viewing range of your tracks area. So I don't use this because I want to use the full um, viewing space for, the, for these tracks. So you can use this just to store tracks in a list. And you can also turn on automatic mixing. Then if I go to the sampler tab, um, you have a full sampler. You can use have 12 of them. They have the volume, play, and record options for each one of them. The effects also. I'm going to refresh this. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's kind of fuzzed up on my screen. Um, they have sound effects, video effects, video transition, and external devices. You'll mainly use sound effects. I got some with my uh, with my file. Um, you have the full options here and you can activate them but you can also activate them right here this is a faster way but a more compact way you have less control over your effects right here this is the record tab and you can have all the options here for record to file, record to CD or broadcast it over the internet I'm going to try to get the effects back if that didn't show up on video you can see it now activate on deck 1 and 2 select the length for this effect or with other options this is a beat grid it's kind of like a special roll and you can um, select what you want to hear for a kind of beat and there are all sort of options find your plot and so on so I will get more in depth on the decks and the mixer in another video